made my very own junior prom dress so like comment and subscribe because i will be posting more also follow my socials at serena's boutique instagram and tiktok i post my pictures there first before i post the videos and yeah i'm excited to show you my dress all right so i was finally able to get all the bodice pieces cut out for my prom dress my prom dress is made out of crepe back satin so i have the lining and the shell and the interfacing so what I'm about to do now is sew on this interfacing to both the lining and shell for all five pieces. And I use sewable um, interfacing because I feel like it has a better drape for the bodice and it makes it less stiff. And it's bulletproof for messing up because you won't mess up because fusible, you could like fuse these wrinkles into it and then, you know, everything goes wrong. But sew so on, it's really easy to unstitch if you do mess up, but you really shouldn't mess up. So I like it for that reason as well. I sewed the interfacing onto the lining in the shell, sewed it to all the pieces, and here is an example of it on the back there. And so next is sewing these back seams, the princess seams right here, and the back seam on both sets. So that's what I'm gonna do, and hopefully that goes well. So this is what it looks like once I sewed these seams together. I really love how the princess seams turned out. It is just so beautiful in this color and like the shine. And that's why I like this sewn interfacing. Like it still looks like satin, which is nice. And yeah, so this is really, really pretty. And I'm in love. <laughs> After I sewed the shell bodice together and the lining bodice together, I took the lining and I added these boning channels of 3 eighths of an inch to the back seams and the princess seams. And I found that it was really hard <laughs> to do the princess seams because it curves at this interesting angle. So it was really hard to get that, but I got them on there. Um, kind of difficult, so <laughs> I'm proud that I got that done. And yeah, so this is what the seam looks like after I've sewn it all the way around, right sides together and so basically the next step is to cut notches into here and trim the seam allowance off so it's not bulky it's really important to cut these notches because on these curves especially because that tension is gonna be released and then it can lay flatter that is a really big tip never forget that okay so this is the bodice before I attach it to the skirt and it looks so pretty I'm loving it this is kind of how it'll look on and that neckline, it looks so cute. I love this. And then so now I'm going to put the boning into the boning channels. Now that the bodice is all complete, looking cute, looking professional. What's next to address? Uh, the skirt. So I'm gonna cut out the skirt layers. I have two bolts of tool, 16 yards in total, eight yards on each bolt. And I'm gonna cut that out. I think I'm gonna do four four layers of tulle and then I have one layer of crepe back satin that I have to cut out too. And uh, yeah, so now I'm going to take this and cut this out because I love sewing. I really hate cutting fabric, let's be real, but it's okay because I'm a little cute. So. <laughs> Finally finished cutting out the skirts. It was a interesting time. <laughs> um, so I have two layers of skirt over here and then two layers over there and then I have the crepe back satin lining skirt underneath. These are on fold. These are not. I have to sew it with a quarter of an inch on the center front seam because I didn't have enough fabric to like put that side on fold. So basically what I did is I sewed those two layers together on that middle seam. You can kind of see through there. When it's all said and done, you wouldn't really see this. Um, and then I took those layers, so two layers, basted them together at the top. Then I took the other two layers, basted them together at the top. Then I took the two layers and I basted together put them together and then I basted it together at the top to get this. So now all four of the layers are on here. So yes, there's four layers of tool right here. So yeah, now I have to just connect this to the satin, crepe back satin lining layer. <laughs> I did pin it and I basted it, like I said, to the lining layer. But the only issue is, is that this ended up being too long and I'm sure that the satin layer just kinda, you know, stretched it out after I cut it. So it's about two inches too long, so I'm gonna go in on the edge here about two inches in until this matches, so then we can have an even, you know, side seam there. So that's what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna gather this together. I was in and I pinned the skirt and gathered it to the bodice. So now I just have to sew with five eighths of an inch to attach them. I accomplished putting the zipper in and I used a number five um, zipper teeth. I used this thick 
zipper because it's way better for going through like thick fabrics on these dresses and it's not one you find in like your normal craft store and then I also have this bling which you may have noticed this rhinestone trim I'm going to be gluing that down all the way around the waistband with this E6000 glue I finally glued the trim on it took a little bit because I had to use a toothpick and put the glue on the stone so it doesn't like you know spill out or get on the fabric where I'm not gluing the rhinestone so it just took a little bit of patience but I got it on there and it goes all the way around to the back and I made sure to keep it kind of far away from the zipper so it's not in the way of the zipper trying to go down but yeah so now the next step is to sew on the sleeves I decided to add a pearl overlay to my draped sleeve. This is pearl tulle, and the pearls are fixated with this metal backing. So I had to go through and pick out the pearls with pliers that fell along the seam allowance line. Over here, it's a half inch, which is where I'm gonna sew the sleeves together. And then over here, it's an inch, and that's where I'm gonna hand sew it to my dress. And it will have like this inch of fluff hanging off, and it'll be really, really pretty. So yeah, that's what I did. And then here are my pearls that I picked out and the pliers that I used to take these pearls out. After I picked out all the pearls that got in the way of the seam, I then took two pieces of purple tool and the pearl tool and basted them together on these side seams. Then I folded them in half and sewed them together with a one half inch seam allowance. I did that on both of the sleeves here. And now the next step is to take a gathering stitch one inch from the edge so I can create a nice little ruffle over here. And then I'm going to pin that down and sew it onto the dress on both sides. The sleeves are attached. Look how pretty they are. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love the pearls so much. Uh, it's on both sides and the sleeves are like really long. They're folded up right now. But look at that. So what I did is I went an inch in from the zipper line and attached the sleeves, just an inch in. And before I attached it, I did a gathering stitch. So I did a basting stitch, gathered it together, pinned it down an inch away. Then I sewed it down one inch away from the edge on the actual fabric. So that's what I did, and now they're attached. And the next step is to level out the hem, and we're almost done with this dress. <laughs> just did a nice rolled hem on my surgery it looks so professional this is my favorite hem like I feel like it looks the best it's the easiest <laughs> I just love it it is a gift <laughs> so yeah that is complete and now the hem is even in order to hang up my garment I sewed on these little loopy things <laughs> I think they're called loop hanger loops I think so yeah so I sewed these on and all it is is ribbon that's a 1 8 inch thick and I just sewed them on and look at it, now the dress is complete. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I really enjoyed making this dress. I had a lot of fun at prom and I will be posting more so follow me on my socials, subscribe to my YouTube and see my sewing journey. And I did sew this dress over the course of three weeks instead of 24 hours like my last video. So I did a little here and there and I think that helped with like the stress factor and it was more like casual. So yeah, I had a lot of fun.